Shalom on the Sabbath day. Greetings. Welcome, welcome to the Philadelphia Assemblies. Amen. Today on the set apart calendar, as we keep it, okay, it's the fourth day of the 13th month. This year, according mm -hmm. to the way that we uh, see the calendar, it's 13 month year, and it's the year 5782 in our estimation. A lot of people are already in 5783 because they start their count. At the, after on the day of atonement, uh, okay. So that there's different ways that people see at this time to keep the calendar, and I'm going to say a few things about that. Today's also the 11th day of March, 2023, on the uh, Gregorian calendar. So and it's the seventh day Sabbath again, as we see it, because again, many people keep a, a lunar or a, a changing Sabbath that on the calendar and. I don't agree with a lot of those things, but that just means I don't agree. That doesn't mean I'm right and everybody else is wrong. You know, I, every time I hear something on Facebook or somewhere, whatever way they see things, everybody else is deceived. You know, we better be careful who we call liars because we all see through a glass darkly at this time. We don't have perfect understanding. We have the scriptures. We have the wicked pen of the scribe, which has cl closed and deceived a lot of things that were originally written, but that doesn't mean even they all did that on purpose. Only the Father, you know, knows the hearts and minds and, and makes those judgments. So we want to make sure we understand that you understand this is the way we see Scripture. We're not trying to get everybody to herd in around our feet. We're just trying to teach the truth, make a place a safe place for people to congregate or to assemble on the Sabbath day and the holy days are set apart assemblies as we see them, okay? And if not, even those that congregate with us may choose to seek and assemble on those set apart feasts in other places mm -hmm. because of the, their understanding of the scripture and we see nothing wrong with that, okay? You might think we're taking it, we're not taking it lightly at all, but we just realize that when that which is perfect comes, and which we know that's talking about our Hamashiach, our Messiah, Jesus, or Yahusha, okay, as we see the word pronounced, is going to set us straight in all those things. Yes, sir. Until then, we're going to study and rightly divide the word the best of our capability through the Ruach HaKadosh, and the rest of those things will be straight, made straight when he comes. And again... Today's message is titled The Book of Life, and what we're really looking to seek here is we're trying to understand how that we, how and when we are written in the Book mm -hmm. of Life, okay? We're going to go to the scriptures to talk about how and when uh, this is. Now, we'll read a lot more than just the key verses because we like to keep the, the study in context because we believe that any... Pre uh, any uh, text that you read out of context is really a pretext. And all you're doing is put your own spin or understanding on that. So we need to try to keep as much of the word in context so that we're not doing that. Not that we have all complete understanding. We certainly do not. But we're striving for that, and we do right. not want to deceive anyone. Okay? Yes, so let's go to the Most High in prayer. Almighty Father Yahuwah, we praise you in all things, Father. We ask that you continue to deliver the breath of life to us, Father, so that we might better serve you. Father, we thank you for giving us that breath of life and for our lives that we've had and our family and all those things and our day-by-day -day needs. Father, we ask that you'd continually keep your hedge of protection around us and keep us safe from the evil one. Father, also... We ask that you would uh, continue to teach us and that we continue to learn in your word and not think that we have all understanding, Father. Hey, keep us to be humble. Father, we ask again that you would heal the sick, Father, that are out there. And we know they are many from m many different things. But in your will, Father, heal them in whatever way that it is that is healing to you. Father, we also ask that you would send that extra unction or anointing of your Ruach or your spirit, Father, to give the peace that passes all understanding to those that have lost loved ones. Father, again, we ask that you would 
anoint us, Father, with an extra anointing and let these, this word be your word and not ours, Father. Help us to be understand, more thoroughly understand your word. Father, we also ask that you would open hearts and mind to the truth, Father, that they might be edified and built up in your assembly. We ask all these things in, the, in, a, in your precious son, Yahusha, or Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we're going to kick this thing off in Psalm 139. Psalm, Psalms 139. It, this was a psalm of David to, the, to his chief musician. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it starts out right away. O Lord, or Adonai, or Master, okay, you have searched me and known me. You know, you know my down-sitting and my uprising. You understood my thought afar off. So, pretty simple things that we're looking at mm -hmm. here. He says, you're the one that searched me. We know that the Most High, mm -hmm. Yahuwah, is the one that searches the hearts and minds of men. You knew that, you know when I sit down, you know when I rise up. You understand all the thoughts from afar off where he is in the third Shamayim. Go ahead, brother. You surround my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Yes, sir. And only he uh -huh. is. Okay. Go ahead. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Adonai, you know us it all together. So what he said is, even though I'm speaking no words, mm -hmm. you know the thoughts of my mind. Verse 5, you have, you, you have beset me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Praise Yahuwah. Verse 6, such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. See, and that's the truth. You know, uh -huh. we can't attain unto all his understanding. We can lean to it. But we can't attain it all. It's too wonderful for us. Go ahead, brother. Where, verse 7. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? You're no way to get away from his Ruach. That presence. Mm -hmm. See, that Ruach is his presence. Go ahead, brother. Verse 8. If I ascend up into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. So, as a lot said there. He says, if. This should be if, okay, if I ascend up into the Shamayim mm -hmm. or into the heavens, which we all know we cannot do, you are there. Uh -huh. He says, I make my bed in the grave, Sheho. Behold, you are there. There's uh -huh. no way to get away from the Most High. He's always there. Verse 9, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the farthest parts of the sea... Yes, sir. Even there shall your hand lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. And you know he's talking about his Ruach, HaKadosh, that, that mm -hmm. is what is his right hand. Go ahead. Verse 11. If I say, surely the darkness shall turn my vision page, cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Okay, and it's not light to you, because if you get covered in darkness, you can't mm -hmm. see. But these next verses are going to lighten this for you. Yep. Go ahead, brother. Verse 12. Yea, the darkness hideth not from, from you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. Now, to you's added, but to, as far as the Most High is concerned, He's the mm. one that created light. He doesn't need light to see. We do. Okay, go ahead, brother. 13. For you has possessed my inward parts. Yes, sir. You has covered me in my mother's womb. Yes, sir. So he's known you before you were born, just like he mm -hmm. told Jeremiah the prophet, before you were born, I knew Amen. you. Go ahead. And this is how. Go ahead, brother. Verse 14. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my life knoweth right well. So notice he said, was I made? He, he didn't uh -huh. always exist, but he was marvelously made by the Most High. Go ahead. 15. My substance was not hid from you. When I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Now, what does he mean by that? That's deep, folks. What he's talking about is we all come from the earth and to the earth we will return. Yes, sir. And so when you were nothing but dirt, he knew your substance and he and you were you were made in secret. And curiously worked in the lowest parts of the earth. That's how. Go ahead, brother. 16. Your eyes did see my substance. 
Yet being unperfect, and in your book all my members were written, which in countenance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. Now think about that. How deep is that? Mm -hmm. He says, your eyes did see my substance. Even when you were in the dirt, he saw your substance. Yet being unperfect, like when in the beginning when the world was unperfect or mm -hmm. unformed, okay, and, you, and written in your book. Okay, now think about that. And in your book, all my members were written. Amen. So even before you were born, when you were in the dirt of the ground, the Most High knew that you were already being written into that book Amen. of life. Go ahead, brother. 17. How precious also are your thoughts unto me, O Yahuwah. How great is the sum of them. So how precious are your thoughts, or how mm -hmm. high are your ways above our ways? Go ahead, brother. 18. If, if I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Yes, sir. Surely you will say, slay the wicked, Yahuwah. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. Now, I want to just make one comment mm -hmm. here. In the in the uh, Masoretic text, or the Hebrew text, they got Eloah, singular, okay? But we all know that the Masoretic text is flawed, okay? And so they, Brother Eric, went to the Greek or Septuagint and it and that's where it says mm -hmm. Yahuwah. Okay, so it's identifying in the Septuagint which Eloah he is speaking of. Go ahead, brother. Okay, verse twenty. For they speak against you wickedly or rebelliously against the Most High. Uh huh. And uh, and your eye enemies take your name in vain or for nothing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Twenty one. Do not I hate or despise, O Lord, or Adonai, that hate thee or despise thee? And am I not I and am not I grieved with those that rise up against you? Yes, sir. Twenty two. I hate or despise them with per it says here perfect or complete hatred. Yes, sir. Much I, as you could hate. Yeah, I count them mine enemies. Search me, O Yahuwah, and know my heart, try me and know my thoughts. Yes, sir. And see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. See, and that's what it's all about. We have to go back and realize that that verse 16 is key to understanding when we're written in the mm -hmm. book of life. We're written in the book of life prior to us even being assembled by the Most High. Okay, uh, Exodus. Yeah. We're going to chapter 32, where... And we're not going to read the whole thing here, but the whole thought was that when they built uh, the golden or the calves. Yes, sir. And they all rebelled. And when Moses was up in the mount before, and then the Most High had him come down and bring the, the tables of stone. For the context, so you know where this is. So, yeah, so just to kind of get to the point where we're going to read in verse 26, okay? And after all that happened, where before he uh, uh, threw down the stones, this is what he said here in verse 26 of Exodus 32. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the most high side? Yes, sir. Let him come unto me, and all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. Yes, sir. 27. And he said unto them, Thus saith Yahuwah of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side and go in and out from the gate to gate throughout the camp and slay every man his brother and every man his com companion and every man his neighbor. Yes, sir. Okay, verse 28. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses and fell and there fell of the people that day about 3,000 men. Yes, sir. 29, for Moses had said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Mighty One, even every man upon his son and upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. Yes, sir. Verse 30, and it came to pass on the morrow that Moses said unto the people, You have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up unto the Most High, perhaps... I shall make an atonement for your sin. 
So perhaps he'll be able to mm -hmm. make an atonement because he might not. That's what he's saying. Because Moses was the intercessor. Yes, sir. Just like Messiah in, mm -hmm. in the Brit Hadashah. 31. And Moses returned unto the Most High and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin and have made them gods or idols of gold. Yes, sir. And those are, he's talking uh -huh. about their own Elohim. Go ahead, brother. 32. Yet now, if you will forgive their sin... And if not, blot me, I pray you, out of your book which you has written. So here it is again. Uh huh. So Moses already was written in the book of life, just as everyone else yes, we read through the uh, David had said. Okay, and he's telling them if you're gonna if you're gonna take these people out, blot me out also out of your book of life, because they had to be in there too. Go ahead, brother. One more verse. And Yahuwah said unto Moses, Whosoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. See, this book is the same. It's going to be the same later mm -hmm. when we read in the Brit Hadashah as well. Okay, let's go over to Deuteronomy now. And I'm going way too far. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 29. We're going to kind of read part of 29 into chapter 30 of Deuteronomy. So we're going to read quite a bit in context. in context, yep. starting in 29 and starting in verse 9. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 9. Now we're going to start. We're going to start looking at what it takes to be to continue to be written in the book. of Yes, Bible. sir. And this is what Israel was given yeah. a covenant. We have to realize and remember and understand. That even as a child, you're written in the book of life, and you're but you're not yet accountable. Once you become accountable and you understand the covenant, and it's written in your mm -hmm. heart, then you can be written out of the book of life. Okay, that's why little children that die before they reach the age of accountability are already written in the book of life and don't have to be concerned about that because they're not yet accountable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Let's continue and let's let the book speak. Verse twenty, uh, verse nine of uh, chapter twenty-nine of De Deuteronomy it says, "Keep therefore the words of this covenant agreement, and do them, that you may prosper in all that you do." See, and you, if you're going to prosper in all that you do, then the Most High's got to be with you in order for that to happen. And if He's going to be with you, you're going to be in remain in His covenant. Go ahead, brother. Verse ten: Ye stand this day, all of you, before Elohim, this Lord your God is equivalent to Elohim, your captain, captains of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, with all the men of Israel. Yes, sir. Your little ones, your wives, and your your uh, your stranger. That is in your camp, from the hewer of your wood unto the drawer of your water. So all your servants all mm -hmm. the way down. Verse 12, that you should us enter in covenant with Elohim and into his oath, which Yahuwah maketh with you this day. So all of Israel, even the stranger that lived within their gates, mm -hmm. all their servants, all their children were entering into this agreement. Now, the children are not accountable to that. They're under their parents. Okay, the, the father's the head, the wife is under the father, and the children under the father and the mother. Thirteen, that, that he may establish you today, today for a people unto himself, and that he may that he may be unto you a mighty one, as yes, he has said unto you, and as he has sworn unto your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and to Jacob. So if the fathers, because that's why most of the scripture is written to the sons of Israel or the men of Israel and not to the women. It's singling out them because they're the head and they have to lead the family in the covenant. And that's what this is all talking about. 14, neither with you only do I make this covenant and this oath. Yes, sir. But with him that stands here with us this day before Elohim and also with him that is not here with us this day. You know what do you mean? He means all of those that mm -hmm. are standing in covenant with him. The strangers that were there yes, and also the ones that are not yet born that are still in the earth. As we read back in the Psalms. Go 16. Ahead. For you know how we have dwelt in the land of Egypt and how we came through the nations which which you passed by. Yes, sir. 
and verse 17, And you have seen their abominations and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which are among them. Okay, so obviously he's warning them, don't mm -hmm. do what they did. And again, this is Moses or Moshe making the warning here. Yeah, 18, lest there sh should be among you man or woman or family or tribe whose heart turns away from, uh, from Elohim to go and serve the, the gods or the idols of these nations. Yes, sir. Lest there should be among you a root that beareth gall and wormwood. Because it, it's talking mm -hmm. about that gall or that wormwood eating up the root and destroying the root that is in the Most High. Go ahead, brother. Verse 19, and it, came, and it come to pass when he hears all the words of this curse, that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in an imagination of my heart to add drunkenness to thirst. So what's he saying? I'm going to continue in my own understanding. Mm -hmm. He's not going to follow the Most High, but I'm going to still live in peace. You see what see what this says. 20. And uh, Yahuwah will not spare him. But then, but then the anger of Elohim and his jealousy sh uh, shall smoke, smoke against that man and all the curses that are written in this book shall lie upon him, and Yahuwah shall blot out his name from under heaven. What's he going to blot it out from? The book of life. Mm -hmm. See, and that's what this is all about. This is leading. This book has never changed. It's always been the same book, but obviously there's no way to the Father except through our Hamashiach, Yahushua. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see that this is the Lamb's book of life that he's talking about. Go ahead, brother. 21, And you shall separate him unto evil out of the, all the tribes of Israel, according to all the curses of the covenant, which are written in this book of the Torah. Now, it, it's so important to understand. See, this was physically happening as an example back here uh, to the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And Moses, or Moshe, was warning them of that, they would fall under all the curses of this book if they didn't continue in the covenant that was made between them and the Most High. Go ahead, brother. Verse 22. So all the so that the generation to come of your children that shall rise up after you and the stranger that shall come from a far land, or the foreigner, yes, sir. shall say when they see the plagues, of that land and the sicknesses which Yahuwah have laid upon it. So when they become in covenant with the Most High, they can look at, mm -hmm. the, at what happened to the nation of Israel and fear and keep his commandments. 20, yep, verse 23. And that the whole land thereof is brimstone and salt and burning, that it is not sown, nor beareth, nor any grass grows therein, like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adama and Zeboam, which Yahuwah overthrew in his anger and in his wrath. So he gave an, an examples of these other places that mm -hmm. Yahuwah overthrew, and he's predicting where that'll happen in Israel. It's been raked to the ground several times, but it's always remained. Mm -hmm. But when the new heaven, when the whole earth is destroyed and the new heaven and new new earth comes, Yes, sir. It'll be, this is a shadow or type. Go ahead, brother. 24, even all nations shall say, where where, ha, where has the Yahuwah done this? Or why has yes, sir. Uh, Yahuwah done the, un, thus unto this land? What means the heat of this great anger? And they'll do the same thing when it destroys the whole earth. Go uh -huh. ahead, brother. 25, then men shall say, because they have forsaken the covenant of uh, that was the Yahuwah of their fathers, uh, or it might be Elohim there, I don't want I can't remember, of their fathers, which he had made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. Yes, sir. So all these plagues are a type or a sign pointing to when they destroy the whole world and earth prior to making a new mm -hmm. heaven and a new earth. At the judgment, at the last final judgment. Go ahead, brother. 26, for they went and served other gods, or their uh, idols. Small L. Uh-huh, and worship them, gods whom they knew not, and whom he had not given unto them. See, Israel was different than the other mm -hmm. nations. They had been singled out, set apart, yes, and sir. made to worship the Most High. The other nations... The Father at that time was allowing them to do. Go ahead, brother. 27. And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against that this land, 
to bring upon it all the curses that are written in this book. Okay, and they're written in this book, talking about the 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 covenant here and the conditions of the covenant mm -hmm. are all written in this book. Go ahead, brother. Okay, and verse 28, And Yahuwah rooted them out of their land in anger and in wrath, and in great indignation, and cast them into the unto another land, as it is this day. Shadow and type. Go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. Twenty nine. The secret things belong unto the mighty one, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this Torah. Yes, and that's so important to get and understand that if you've been imparted the covenant, mm -hmm. that you need to be keeping it with your whole heart to the Most High. That's the conditions of those covenants that were handed down. Now we're going to go right into chapter 30 of Deuteronomy. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon you, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before you, and you shall call them to mind, among all the nations where Yahuwah has driven you. So look at this and think about this. He said, Moshe, we mm -hmm. know he's a prophet, and we know our Messiah, or Hamashiach, mm -hmm. is a prophet like unto Moshe. He's prophesying that they're going to receive both the blessings and the curses which are set before you, and, and he's making a prophecy here. So that he knows they're going to rebel. Go ahead, brother. Verse 2. And shall return unto the Most High, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command you this day, you and your children, with all with all your heart and with all your soul. Or so it's going, the, the fathers were going to cover mm. the wives and their sons. Go ahead, brother. 3. That then Yahuwah will turn your captivity and have compassion on you and return and gather you from all the nations where Yahuwah has scattered them. So he's going to do that to ones that had their right, their hearts correct. He's mm -hmm. going to gather them from all the nations. When the, the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Yep, Amen. when the Messiah, return, when he returns, Hamashiach. Verse 4, if any of your, uh, of your, if any of thine be driven out unto the out, outmost parts, or the farthest parts of heaven. So one end of the heavens to the other, yep. the Shamayim, that means all around the earth, or all upon the earth, whichever way you look at it. From there will Yahuwah gather you, and from there will he bring you. Yes, sir, back to uh -huh. the set-apart land. Verse 5, And Yahuwah will bring you into the land which your fathers possessed, and you shall possess it. Yes, sir. And he will do... And he will do you good and multiply you above above your fathers. See, because the fathers received the blessings and the curses. Uh -huh. And if you he goes out and gathers all his elect, his chosen, and brings them back to the land, he will do you good and multiply you above all your fathers. Go ahead, brother. Verse 6, And Yahuwah will circumcise thine heart. And the heart of your seed to love the Most High with all thine heart and with all thy soul or life that you may live. Yes, sir. And that's exactly uh -huh. right. He will if you keep the covenant and be an example to your family. Go ahead, brother. Seven. And Yahuwah will pour, put out all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate you, which persecuted thee. A couple of things there. He's going to mm -hmm. protect us. And, he's going, and we know we're going to be persecuted for the, our belief in the truth. Go ahead, brother. And verse 8, And, and you shall return and obey, uh, obey the voice of Elohim and do all his commandments which I command you this day. Yes, he will. And that's going to be in the millennial mm -hmm. reign when the Messiah gathers his elect. Verse 9, And Yahuwah will make you plenteous or prosperous in every work of your hand, in the fruit or the offspring of your body, and in the fruit of your cattle, and in the fruit of your land for good. For Yahuwah will again rejoice over you for good as he rejoiced over your fathers. And, he's, and again, that's going to be in the millennial reign. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some that's going to be living that he's going to gather, but he's going to gather all those in that first resurrection from the dead as well. Verse 10. If you shall hearken unto the voice of Elohim to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the Torah, 
And if you turn unto the Most High with all your heart and with all your soul, all your life. Yes, sir. If we, if you do that, mm -hmm. you're going to receive the reward and you will remain written in the book of life. Go ahead, brother. 11. For this commandment which I command you this day, it is not too difficult for you, neither it is far off. It's right there and it's, it's mm -hmm. written in books. Go ahead, brother. 12. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? Because it was right there and Moshe had written it uh -huh. all down and they could see it. Okay. Verse 13. Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? Yes, sir. Verse 14, and this is equivalent to the uh, scripture in Romans chapter 10, which we're going to read yes, next. Sir. But the word is very near unto you in your mouth and in your heart that thou mayest do it. So it's not impossible to do what he says. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very near and dear to you, even in your heart, that circumcision of the heart. And that's what circumcision pointed to as well, okay, that you may do it. Okay, I just want to add something here. Mm -hmm. It's not an ad, really. It's in the Septuagint. This is how I read. It reads. I'm going to reread the scripture here, and what they have in here, it's a little bit more than what it says here. Okay, it says, but the word is very near unto you, in in your mouth and in your heart, that you may uh, that and in your hand to do it. So you see in the Septuagint they have that they had in your hand to do it and they they had that left out in the King James. I just wanted to So it of, makes you understand that that you can do it and you must do it. See, it's okay? talking about see it's also it's not just confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. This you know, it's even talking about in your hands, your actions. Yeah, because faith without uh -huh. works is dead. Amen. It does not exist, okay? So it's going to show up in your hands. See, when you look in the Septuagint, as long as it doesn't take away or add, take away, and it fits, or, and it fits in, in, you know, in the book, then it's okay, okay? Verse 15, as long as it's no, it doesn't contradict. Verse 15, yet, uh, See, I have set before you this day life and good, and death and evil. In that, in that I command, and you this day to love the Most High, to walk in His ways, and to keep His commandments, and His statutes, and His judgments, that you mayest live and multiply, and Yahuwah shall bless you in the land where you go to possess it. Amen. 17. But if your heart turn away, so that you will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods or idols, and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that you shall surely perish, that you may that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land where you pass over Jordan to go to possess it. Yes, sir. Nineteen. I call heaven and earth to witness this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and and your seed may live. 20. That you mayest love the Most High, and that you mayest obey His voice, and that you mayest cleave unto Him, for He is your life and length of your days, and you mayest dwell in the land which Yahuwah swear unto your fathers, Abraham, J Isaac, and Jacob, to give them. So, it certainly isn't just one time except in the covenant, and then from then on, everything is fine. See, he that endures to the end shall be saved. And we're going to get into that topic mm -hmm. even more as we go into the New Testament. Yeah, now we're going to go Romans. in uh, Romans. Romans chapter 10. Yep, Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. We're just going to read down to 17. Okay. You're there. okay, break it down. Yes, sir. I'm okay, here. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for most Israel, high. the Most High. Yep. 
to pray to Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. See, now, he knew that Israel as a nation, as a whole, had been cut off. Mm -hmm. But his dearest prayer to the Most High was that they might be saved. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, For I testify to them that they have a zeal to Elohim, but not according to the knowledge, for being ignorant of the righteousness of Elohim and seeking to establish their own righteousness. They did not submit to the righteousness of Elohim. What did that mean? You know, they went down the letter of the mm -hmm. law, they connected the Torah, and they made it, you know, their Torah, not the Most High's. And they weren't keeping it to the Most High, they were keeping it to themselves and to the religious leaders of the time. Mm -hmm. Verse 4, And Christ is, is the end of the law for righteousness, to everyone that believes. Okay, and that's in the King James, okay, that, that mm -hmm. end of the law. If you look that word up, that actually means the goal of the law. Mm -hmm. So for Christ, or our, our, our Hamashiach, is the goal of the Torah for righteousness to everyone that believes. Now, I'm going to insert an analogy, or maybe two short ones, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody that thinks, okay, we're all signed, sealed, and delivered right now, take this into consideration. It's kind of like baseball, okay? When you get on the plate and you hit the ball and you run to first base, if you make it there before the ball does and you stay on the base, you're safe at first base. Yes, sir. See, being saved is, a, is being in a condition of being safe, okay, yes. while you're in the Torah. Yep. But if you, let's say the ball's bunted on the next uh, delivery at the bat, and the ball comes close to you and you run out of the baseline, that means you get out of the Torah, okay? Yep. Then you're out, okay? Now, you might get another turn at bat, okay? But you're out, okay? You have to, at that point, you need to repent and come back to Messiah so that we can get another turn at bat that someday we might make it home. Amen. Because he that endures to the end shall be saved. If you buy a ticket on a train and you get on that train and something happens in your life and you decide, I'm going to get off at this stop and maybe I'll get back on. Guess what? You get off that train. You're not going to make it home. Okay. So unless you get back on the train, repent and get back on the train, you're not going to get to your destination. So yes, we are saved in a sense, as long as we remain in covenant, just like we read in back in Deuteronomy there. But if we get off of the out of line of the Torah and decide to continue in that, we're not going to make it. We're not once saved, always saved. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, and, like, and just briefly, what like Paul just says in the Corinthians, that he says he's running that race. Yes, sir. That he may obtain it. See yep. That, and, what is he obtaining? Yes, sir. Eternal and, life. And he's striving for that mastery. Yes, sir. See, he says, but I keep my body and bring it unto subjection. See, under control. Uh-huh. Lest that by any means that I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. What's he bringing himself into? Or disqualified. Yes, sir. And what, what does he mean by bringing his body into subjection? Uh -huh. and subjection to what? To the right rulings? of the Most High, Amen. because he wants to be pleasing to the Most High, so that he's not cast out of the Book of Life. Amen. That's the point. Okay, let's get back to Romans chapter 10, verse 5. Yes, sir. For Moses writes of the righteousness. For, yeah, for Moses described. Yep. Yep. I'm kind of reading up here. Which is, uh, which is of the Torah. Yes, sir. The man doing these things shall live by them. But the righteousness of faith says this, Do not say in your heart, who will, who will go up into heaven, that is, to bring down Christ? Or who will go down into the abyss, that is, to bring Christ up from the dead? Yes, sir. We know who did that, brought up the Messiah, yep. the Hamashiach from the dead. Yep. Verse 8. Yes, sir. Okay, now it says, But what saith it? The word is nearer is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. So it goes back to that circumcised heart we uh -huh. read back in, in Deuteronomy, and that's what it's talking about, and the word of belief or faith that's written in our hearts. Go mm -hmm. ahead, brother. 
that if you will, shall confess with your mouth, it says the Master uh, Jesus or Yahusha, and shall believe in the heart that God raised him, that Yahuwah raised yes, him sir. from the dead, from the dead, that thou that you shall be saved. In other words, if you he raised him from the mm -hmm. dead so that you could be saved. Okay, yes, that's sir. the whole point. Go ahead, brother. Verse 10, for with the heart man believe, believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So what did that mean? He says, for, the, for with the heart man believes. Mm -hmm. And to what? Unto righteousness. In other words, unto the word of Elohim and do and does what he says. And with the mouth we can our confession is made, and that's repentance, which is made unto salvation. Verse eleven, for the scripture says, Everyone believing on him will not be put ashamed put yes, sir. to shame. For there is no difference both between the both Jew and Greek for the same Yahuwah, yes, sir. Of all is rich toward all the ones calling on Him. Yes, sir. Oh, someone's calling me. Okay, verse thirteen says, "For everyone, for everyone, whoever shall may call on the name of Elohim will be saved." Everyone that calls to Elohim in mm -hmm. repentance and comes into His Word will be saved. Verse fourteen. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Okay, and they're, who are they talking about? It's Elohim again. Go ahead, brother. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Yes, sir. And how shall they hear without a preacher? Or teacher. Yes, sir. Verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? How are they sent? By the Ruach. Uh -huh. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Okay, and talk about the bezoar or the good news mm -hmm. or the gospel. Those are the, what we are supposed to be bringing. And notice it says the gospel of peace. Yes, sir. Not okay. division. Not division or strife mm -hmm. or, you know, uh, contention. Yeah. 16. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. Okay, what is the gospel? And he's going to tell you that what Isaiah says here in just a second. Yeah, for Isaiah says, it says, Master, or it says, yeah, it says, uh, who has believed our, our message? And their message was, again, the promises that was made to Abraham, that's the good news, and also the promises that were made mm -hmm. to David or Dawood, and the conditions are the Torah. Go ahead, brother. 17. Yeah, I think I'm. Then, yes. then faith is then faith is of hearing, and hearing through the word of Elohim. Now, and you have to understand at this time the word the the scriptures weren't written down in books like we have now. They were in scrolls, and they remained either in the temple or in the synagogues. They weren't something that people could just go and read. Many were illiterate, and so they had to hear the word of Elohim in order to understand yes sir now let's go to ephesians break that down ephesians ephesians chapter chapter one, one. ephesians yes, chapter one right there ephesians chapter one Take a little bit here. Okay. It says here, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, or Yahushua, okay, the Messiah, by the will of Elohim, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the, faith in, uh, to the faithful in Christ Jesus, or Yahushua. Yes, sir. Grace be to you and peace from uh, God our Father, or Elohim, our Father and Elohim, Jesus Christ, or Yahushua, okay, the Master. Yes, sir. Verse 3, Blessed be the Yahuwah and Father of our Lord, or let's see, Jesus Christ. Yes, okay. this, that word right there would be the Master or like the yeah, representative. Or like a representative, yep. Yeah, because that's what he is. He's a rep, they're our representative. Go ahead, brother. And who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in, he in heavenly places in the Messiah. See, because who's in the heavenly places? Mm -hmm. Our Messiah. That's what that's talking about. 
Verse 4, according as he hath chosen us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. And and even the words themselves here have these uh, things that teach us, you know, whether mm-hmm. who it's speaking of. The word he there, if you look at it, it's letting us clearly know that's talking about Yahuwah. And when it's talking to that, that we should be set apart and without blame before Elohim and love. Verse 5, having predestinated us unto the adoption of the children by Jesus or Yahushua, the anointed one, to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So it's to the Most High and according to the Mm -hmm. will of Elohim. Yes, sir. Verse 6, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the Beloved. Okay, so the Most High has made -hmm. made us accepted into the Beloved through the Messiah, which it's going to say. Verse 7, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. So the grace is the Father's grace, and the blood is the Messiah's blood, and that's how we get it. Yes, sir. 8, wherein he has abounded toward us in all wisdom and insight. And he did that through his spirit. or uh-huh. Ruach. Verse 9, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, yes, according to his good pleasure, which he hath proposed purposed in himself. purposed in himself and that's again speaking of the most high that verse 10 that the dispensation or administration yes sir. of the fullness of times he might gather together all in one all things in christ the messiah both which are in heaven and which are on earth even in him so all the messengers are angels in heaven all be gathered together through our Hamashiach unto him, the Most High. Okay, where, are we? where verse are we at? 11. 11. In whom, verse 11, in whom we also we have obtained an inheritance, mm-hmm. being predestinated according to the purpose of him who, had, who works all things after the counsel of his own will. And we know the one that works after the counsel of his own will is the Most High, mm. and he he predestinated us through that book of life that we read back in the beginning, according to the purpose of him and who works all things after the counsel of his own will. And he did that through our Hamashiach Messiah. Go ahead, brother. Verse 12, that we, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ or the Messiah. Yes, sir. Or whom you also trusted after that you heard the word of truth. The gospel of your salvation, of whom also after after that you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Yes, sir. And once you get sealed, you're not going to get unsealed by anyone except Mm -hmm. yourself. Because if you resist or blaspheme that Holy Spirit, that Ruach HaKadosh, you will be cut off. Go ahead, brother. 14, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of, of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Now think about what was said there, which is the earnest or the down payment. See, receiving the Spirit is not making you sealed until the day of, uh, of the perfect possession. Listen, our in, it's our in our inheritance until the redemption. So it's temporary of the purchased possession, which is us, unto the praise of the Most High's glory. Okay, verse 15. Yes, sir. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Master Yahushua and love unto all the saints. Yes, sir. Believers. Yes, sir. 16. Cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. Okay, 17. Mm-hmm. That Yahuwah of our representative. Yes, sir. Yahushua, the Christ, and the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge in the knowledge of him. The knowledge of the Most High, because that's Mm -hmm. the one that the Messiah came to reveal. And he did that through that spirit of wisdom, which is the Ruach. Verse 18, in the eyes of your understanding or mind. Yes, sir. being uh, Being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what riches of, of the glory of his inheritance in the believers. And it's, the calling comes from uh-huh. the Father, and he calls us to his ban or his son. 
Verse 19, And what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power? And it's that Ruach HaKadosh, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. 20, which he wrought in, in the, the anointed one, Christ, when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heaven, heavenly places. So that's this is needs to be broke down a little bit. He said, which he, the Most High, yep. worked in Christ. So when he yes, was sir. here on earth, the, the our Hamashiach, doing all those miracles were done through that Ruach. Okay, that's the power we were talking about. And said, and, and, and when he raised him from the dead, that showed there hadn't been anyone that had mm -hmm. raised from the dead and ascended into the heavenlies before our Messiah. And set him where? At his own right hand Amen. in the Shamayim. 21. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also that which is to come. So that could also be interpreted age. But again, obviously it's talking about now and in the new heaven and new earth. Go ahead, brother. 22. And hath put all things under his feet. Yes, sir. And gave him to be the head over all things to the ecclesia. Or to the assembly. That's what that's talking about. Uh -huh. So Messiah is the head of the assembly and the Most High put all those things under his feet. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's also uh, called the Most High and the Mighty One yep. over the nations. Because he's the head. Verse 23, which is his body, the fullness of him that fills all in all. And that, and that same thing that filled him was that Holy Spirit, that Ruach HaKadosh that fills all of us, all in all, and makes that connection back to the Father. Okay, Second Peter. Yes, sir. Second Peter, chapter 2. Second Peter, chapter 2, starting in verse 1. Bob's getting, he's way I, ahead of me. Sometimes falls right in there, sometimes not. It's right after James. <laughs> yes, sir. It's right after James. <clears throat> okay, Second Peter chapter, chapter two. 2. Okay, it says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately or secretly shall bring in damnable or destructive heresies, mm -hmm. even denying, it says the Lord here, or... Um, Actually, it's the master. The master that brought them Global and bring three. upon themselves swift destruction. Yeah, it was uh, Strong's Concordance number 1203, Lord, their master. Right. It says, but there were false prophets, just as they are today also among the people, even as you will, as there will be false teachers now among you, who secretly, okay, will bring in damnable or destructive heresies, even denying the master, and that's talking about the Most High, brought them and bring up upon themselves swift destruction. I think Brother Eric's going to read. Yep. From the uh, verse two and. Yeah, I'm going to just read this from the Yeah, that's the what Greek. I thought you were going to yeah. do from the Greek. Chapter 2, verse 2. And it says, As newborn babes... Well, I'm, I'm no. sorry, I'm in the wrong yeah. place here. Let me get the... I'm in, sec, I'm in the first Peter there. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks better. Now. <laughs> verse 2. Verse 2. And many will follow after the destructive ways... Of whom the way of truth will be evil spoken of. So many today are following after many different people that mm -hmm. have destructive ways. Now, am I the author to say what's destructive and not? No, I'm not. But this is still true. Go ahead, brother. Okay, verse 3. And by covetousness, well, with well-turned words, they will use you for gain. Yes, sir. For whom judgment of old does not linger, and their destruction does not slumber. So, if people are trying to draw people for their own profit mm -hmm. or benefit, okay, that there's going to be a payout for that, and that's going to come at the end at the great white throne judgment. Verse 4, 
<clears throat> it says, for if, now here, God, and this is equivalent to Yahuwah, or yes, Yahweh, or Jehovah, mm -hmm. for, if, if, for if Yahuwah did not spare sinning uh, angels, but delivered them to the chains of darkness, which is Tartarus yep. in the Greek, thrust down into Tartarus, yep. having been kept into judgment, and did not spare the ancient world, but pre but preserved Noah the eighth, a herald of righteousness, bringing a flood on the world world of ungodly ones. So it's important to understand in all that that these chains of darkness are no different for these mm -hmm. angels, just like us. When we die, we're going to be held in chains of darkness and be reserved unto the day of judgment. That's what it's talking about. This is not some magical thing. Okay, go ahead, brother. Verse 6, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with the overthrow, maketh them an example unto those that after or later should live ungodly. And see, that's what the scriptures is about. Even though they're actual things that happen, they're also made as examples to what's going to happen to those that live ungodly. Go ahead, brother. Verse 7, And he delivered righteous Lot, who had been oppressed by the behavior of lawless of the lawless and lustful lustfulness. For verse eight, for that righteous one living among them day after day in seeing and in hearing, his righteous life was tormented with their lawless deeds. So he lived there and all their uh -huh. unjust deeds tormented him the whole time that Lot was there in Sodom and Gomorrah. Verse nine, but Yahuwah knows to deliver the godly out of temptation. Yes, sir. And to keep the the unjust for a, for a day of judgment being punished. So again, hold in, held in chains mm -hmm. of darkness till the day of judgment, and he took righteous Lot and his family out. Go ahead, brother. Verse 10, and, and most of all, those going after the flesh and the lust of defilement, and and despising rulership. Yes, sir. Okay. It says... Dares, dares, self-satisfied, they do not tremble at glory, speaking evil, where angels, being greater in strength and power, do not bring against them a, re a reproaching charge before the mighty one. So what's that talking about? That says when you don't bow to the ones that, are, that he puts in charge, and you are presumptuous and self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of the dignitaries. Are those the ones that the Most High put into charge? Whereas also angels, which are greater in power and might, which we already know were reserved into chain, chains of darkness, but not railing accusation, accusation, do not bring a railing accusation against them to the mighty one. Go ahead, brother. Verse 12. And by these as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. So in other words, when we go against the things that he set in place, what are we? We're natural born beasts, and we're going to end up destroyed, speak evil of the things which they don't understand, and will utterly perish in their own corruption. Go ahead, brother. 13. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they have as they have counted pleasure to riot yes, sir. or to live luxuriously in the daytime. So spots are they are and blemishes, sporting and reveling themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. So the wheat and the tear. See, they're going to mm -hmm. be right there among the congregation of the Most High all the way up to the end because you don't want to uproot the wheat. Go ahead, brother. 14, having eyes full of adultery, and they cannot cease from sin. Yes, sir. Can't stop. Enticing unstable lives and mm -hmm. heart that they have exercised with covetous practice, cursed children. Yes, sir. Now, what does that mean? That didn't mean they cursed them out of their mouth, right. but because of their ungodly practices, it caused the children to be cursed as well. Go ahead, brother. 15, which have forsaken the right way and are have gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Bezor, and loved the wages of unrighteousness. Remember, we, we know that he said what people wanted to hear for wages, and that's the same thing that's going on now. Uh -huh. People are saying things for the wages, whatever that might be. Go ahead, brother. But was rebuked for his iniquity or lawlessness. 
the dumb ass speaking with a man's voice forbade, forbade the badness of the prophet. See, in other words, and that's what it is. You know, when we got people that are predicting the future, that's madness if it goes against what's written in the word of Elohim. Okay? So, he got rebuked by a dumb animal. Okay? That obviously the angel spoke through. Go ahead, brother. 17. These are wells without water, clouds that are carried with the tempest, of whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. So that's talking about not being there. That's the judgment, mm. okay? 18, for when they speak great swelling words of boast, it says vanity, it says boasting, they allure through the lust of the flesh through much wantingness. And greed. Or unbridled lust. Those that were, cl that, those that were clean escape from them who live in error. Those that truly were living according to the Most uh -huh. High escape escape from them well, that would we live in error 19 while they promise them liberty they themselves are the servants of corruption for of whom a man is overcome of the same is he brought in bondage whoever you put yourself servant to that one you are of you know and that's why he was messiah told them they were of the father their father the devil because that's who they were going working with go ahead brother for if after they have escaped the pollutions or the corruptions of the world, through the knowledge of the Lord the representative and Savior, Jesus, or Yahushua, the anointed one, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than be the beginning. Does that sound like you're sealed and saved right now? It says, for if... They they have escaped the pollutions of the world. That means they come to understand and know the, the Hamashiach and understand the covenant through the knowledge of our representative, our Savior, Yahushua Hamashiach. They are again entangled in the ways of the world and overcome. The latter end was worse for them than the beginning. They would have been better off to have never known the truth than known the truth and right. turned back. Verse... 21. 21. For it had been better for them not to have known the way yes, of righteousness <laughs> than after they have known it to turn from, from the, the holy, holy commandment God. delivered unto them. Yes, sir. But, verse 22, but it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog has turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed or her wallowing in the mud or so, the mire. if you turn away from the righteous ways... Mm -hmm. Then obviously it's not once saved, always saved, because you went right be. back after your own vomit, or you jumped back into the mud hole with the pigs. That just shows you how 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 deceived this or yes, the wicked this flesh can be yes, if sir. we don't keep it under subjection, like Apostle Paul said. Yes, sir. Let's go into chapter three of Second Peter, and we're going to start in verse eight. Second Peter three verse eight it says, "But beloved." Be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with the Lord or with Yahuwah is yep. as one is as one thousand years and a thousand years as one day. So in other words, time has no control over him. Don't think you got it all figured out. Go ahead, brother. Okay, verse nine. nine. Verse nine. It says here. It says Yahuwah is not slow as to the promise, as some deem slowness. Yes, sir. Okay, but as long suffering toward us is not having is not having purpose any of us that perish, but that all of us come to repentance. See, that's his will, but he knows that's not going to be the case because our wicked mm -hmm. heart it turns us away. Verse Boy. ten. Yes, sir. But let's see, verse ten. That would be Elohim. Yes, but sir. it says, but the day of Elohim will come as a thief in the night. And in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. And we know if you read Revelation 20, you'll 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 understand this, mm -hmm. how that the earth is going to be burned up. And so this is talking about when the Most High returns. Go ahead, brother. See, verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, 
destroyed. Yeah, destroyed. What manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conduct with godliness? So how are you to do that? You're supposed to do it according to what the most uh, our Messiah, Hamashiach, modeled for us because we love the Most High. Go ahead. Verse 12. Looking for and hasting the coming day of Elohim, through which the heavens... Well, I just read that, right? Nope. Okay, which the heavens being set afire will be dissolved. It's repeating. Yeah, and the elements will melt. But according to his promise, we look for a new heavens and a new earth yes, in sir. which righteousness dwells. Yes, sir. Okay, verse 14. But because of this, beloved, for these things be diligent, spotless, and without blemish, to be found in peace by him, and think and think of the long suffering of our Elohim as salvation, as also our beloved brother Paul yep. wrote to you, according to the wisdom given to him, as also in all his letters, speaking of them, certain, uh, sir, I can't, so the, because them, I, hang on a second, sixteen. Let me just reread this. It says 16, as also in all his letters, speaking of them in these things in which are some things hard to be understood, yes, sir. which they that are unlearned and unstable, it says here, rest or twist as they do the other scriptures unto their own destruction. And many do that, and they do all uh -huh. the scriptures that way. That's what he's just saying, but he just said Shaul's. Are the ones that, because he's got, he speaks so much that they have a lot to try to twist, is what they're saying. Amen. 17. And get ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware, lest you also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. Yes, sir. In the Most High, through our Hamashiach. Yeah, verse 18. It says, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our representative and Savior, Jesus, Yahushua, the Anointed One. Amen. To Him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now we're going to finish her up in Revelation. No, Romans. Next. we got one more place for Romans. I almost yeah. went by that. Yeah, jump in the, jump in jump the, in the gun. <laughs> jump in the gun. Romans. Romans chapter 8. I was going to throw the whole chapter in here, but just for time's time sake. Time's sake, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Romans 8 has got so just much in it, so it's much. hard not to read it in context. Yes, sir. 8.27, I'm going to start right there. Romans. And he that searches the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he make intercession... For the saints according to the will of Elohim. Yep. Well, and, and what he said there, he, we know who the one that searches the hearts and knows the mind of the Ruach. That's the Most High. Because he makes intercession for the believers according to the will of the Most High. Go ahead, brother. 28. Okay, 28. It says, and we know that all things work together for good. To them who love the Most High. Yes, sir. To them who are called according to His purpose. The Most High's purpose. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 29. For whom did He foreknow? He did. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. That's a, that's a lot there. He says, for mm -hmm. whom He did foreknow. We know that even all the way back in that psalm we were reading, that even when we were in the dearth, mm -hmm. dirt, he foreknew us and knew we would be here. And again, because the day is as, as a thousand years to him. He also did what? Predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son or Ben. Now you can't be, the Ben can't be the most high for being conformed to his image of his son. Okay, just like the sun is conformed to the image of the Most High, that doesn't make them the same, that he might mm -hmm. be the firstborn, our Messiah, among many brethren. So the Messiah is our brother. Go ahead, brother. 30. 
Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. Father's the one that calls. Of whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. See, he's already glorified our Messiah, Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. When he re went to the heavens, he became a spirit being. And we too will be glorified. 31. What shall we then say to these things? If Yahuwah be for us, who can be against us? Amen. If the Most High is yes, for us, no one can be against us. 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? And that's talking about his spirit, because all things come through that. Go ahead, brother. Okay, verse 33. Who, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? Elohim. El Elohim's elect. It is Yahuwah that justifieth. Amen. Verse 34. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ, or the, the Messiah, that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who in, even at the right hand of, of Elohim. Elohim, who also make intercession for us. Just like Moshe was making intercession for the children of Israel, that's what our Messiah is doing now at the right hand of Elohim. Go ahead, brother. 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ, or the anointed one? Shall tribulation, or no. trouble, or distress, no. or persecution, no. famine, nakedness, or pearl, or sword, or war? Yep, won't do it. Can't Th do it. 36. As it is written, for your sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yeah, and he's quoting Psalm 44, yes, 22, sir. but he's speaking of himself, the apostles that were being killed for, uh -huh. for them. Go ahead, brother. May, verse 37. In, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Now, we got to be overcomers. we got to be conquerors. we got to put the old man to death. If we stay the same, we are not sealed and we are not right. saved. Go ahead, brother. In verse 38, Paul goes on to say, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Elohim, which is in Christ, or the Messiah, Yahushua, our Master. Master. Yes, sir. And, and that's the truth. See, all that love is through our Messiah, because he loved mm -hmm. the, his son so much when we come under that shed blood, he sees his son, and that's how we become sons. And the only thing that can separate us from him is us. Ourselves. That is it. Okay. And we can do that by walking away from the truth. Yes, sir. All right. Third, uh, Revelation 3, 5. Just, Just one, one verse. verse. Yep. We're going to wind her up now. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Okay. Revelation 3, 5. Says he that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment or clothing, or righteousness. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Now think about that. That's telling you he that overcomes what the world, the flesh, yes, sir. the same will be clothed in white raiment. And will not, be, and I will not blot them out of his book of life. Now we're going to look a little bit more about that book of life. Revelation chapter 20. 20 my yeah. favorite yeah. Of, of Revelation. All of it's great. 20, because this, yeah, because we this know. This got it all right here. That we're getting to the end. Revelation 20. Mm -hmm. okay. We're going to verse 11. 20, Revelation 20 and verse 11. says here, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was, was found no place for them. And that's what we've been reading about back in Second Peter with the world mm -hmm. burning, melting, and the fervent heat. This is all getting ready to get done right here, and it's explaining it. Go ahead, bro. Verse 12, And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and standing Elohim. before Elohim. Yep. And the books were open, and another book was open, 
which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which are written in the books according to their works. Notice here that this word book, the book of life is singular, and the, they were judged out of these books. That's mm -hmm. talking about his Torah, his prophets, what's written in the word. Right. That's what they're going to be judged out of. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. 13. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man according to their works. See, and they got hell here again, which is uh -huh. very undiscriminate, and it says, And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and the grave, grave. Sheol, delivered up the dead which were in them. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's the second resurrection. Right. The rest of the dead, and they were all judged, every man according to his works. Again, According to the Torah, according to his works, because our Messiah kept that Torah perfectly, we're being judged by the life of Hamashiach. Go ahead. 14, brother. and death and hell were cast in the lake of fire. This is the second death. And again, the grave, because there's no more death. We know we read that in 1 Corinthians. And verse 15, 15, yep. And whosoever was not found... Written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. See, you can be taken out of the book of life mm -hmm. at any time in your life, and you would be in the book of life unless you take yourself out. You mm -hmm. were written even before you were born. Revelation 21, and this Just is last. Last. I want to read the first two verses of 21, and then we're going to skip down to verse 23. Okay. Revelation 21, it says, And I, and I John, saw a new heaven and, and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Destroyed. Okay. Uh, verse 2, And I John, I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Elohim yep. out, of, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. See, that, 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 temple that was in New Jerusalem was there all along. Everything was built after the image of that, if you go back and read in Exodus. Okay, for, uh, now you said you 20, yeah, skip down to 23 through 27. It says here, and, and the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of Elohim did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. See, because the Messiah becomes the light through that Spirit that dwells within him. And the, he didn't cease to exist in the new heaven and earth. There was still Elohim and the Lamb. Go ahead, brother. And, and by the way, that was, what was that? What verse was that? 23? 23. Yeah, that was uh, Yahuwah. Yes, okay. sir. Verse 24. Yes, the God didn't there didn't was him. for Yahuwah did enlighten it. Yes, yeah. sir. You know, it's just having a little trouble reading because sometimes my eyes is small words. I need a bigger, <laughs> bigger writing. <laughs> Me too, bro. That's why I got this <laughs> giant print. I can't That's see a, it. Yeah, right <laughs> Super there. Super giant, matter of fact. 24. And the nations of them which are, are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into to it. it. Now think about what he said. The mm -hmm. nations at this time, now uh -huh. this is in the new heaven and earth, of them which are saved, because at that time you will be saved. Mm -hmm. There won't be no need to fall in, because there's going to be no more uh, abominable things, murderers, anything at this time, and, and sh shall walk in the light of it. Amen. Okay, and we know the Lamb is going to be that light. Go ahead, brother. 25. And the gates of it shall not be shut, at all by day, for there shall be no night there. Yes, sir. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. Yes, sir. And there should be no wise enter in, into anything that defiles, neither, neither whatsoever works abomination or detestable things or makes a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. So this Lamb's book of life Amen. has been around since the beginning. And again, when we are born, even before we're born, the Most High knows and we're predestinated to be there. Yes, but that sir. doesn't mean that you're, because you're predestinated, you can just do anything you want to do. You can cut yourself off from that at any time and be taken out of that book of life. And we know the Lamb is the only way that we can come to the Father. So it's the only way that we can enter in is through our Hamashiach to Yahuwah and 
That's why he's the only Savior. Amen. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the Philadelphia Assemblies, again, we ask that you would do so. And if you have or haven't subscribed and you like any of our videos, give it a thumbs up on YouTube and share it to your Facebook panel page. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified of our next video. And may Yahuwah bless until we meet again.